Have you ever put your pants on backward? I know I certainly have. You know, when we sew our pants, we don't have a tag in the back that says, this is the back. And particularly when you're um, uh, sewing the pull-on pants, you just have this big waistband and you pull them off the hanger and oh my gosh, you've got them on backward. Well, it happens to all of us. I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs, and I want to share with you a tip that was shared in one of my Fit and Sew retreats. For those of you who aren't aware, I offer Fit and Sew retreats here in Oregon, where I teach you how to work with the SureFit Designs patterns, the pants and the dress pattern, to get a really excellent body fit. Well, we do do a lot of work over the six days, but there's also a tremendous amount of camaraderie and everybody shares sewing tips and ideas. And I'm going to share with you one that came from a lady from California. Her name is Barb, and she was just a wealth of information. And it's a real easy technique to do when you're making a pair of pull-on pants. So here's what you're going to do. First of all, make sure that you cut your waistband piece exactly the way uh, or the size that you need it to be. And of course, um, it's going to be cut twice the width of your elastic. I've been making uh, yoga pants lately and working with this really wide, two inch wide elastic. So it's going to be two times the width of your elastic, of course, plus the necessary seam allowances. Then you take your long rectangle and you sew it in a circular tube and there you have the center back seam. And then take your waistband piece, take it to the ironing board and give it a press so that it looks like this. And uh, now you've got the crease that's designating the top of the waistband. And then what you want to do is say, all right, this is going to be the inside at the center back of my pants. So what you'll do is take a little piece of stabilizer or iron-on interfacing just to stabilize that and then take this to the sewing machine. Oops, I shouldn't fold that open or fold it closed because you're really going to be sewing right here. And choose one of your decorative machine stitches and my sample looks like this. It's real pretty. It's done in a totally opposing color so that when you pull your pants off the hanger, you can see it right away. That's what the inside looks like. It's been totally stabilized. And now you know exactly where the center back is and the back of the pants. And I've got a pair of yoga pants that are finished here. You know, I call these my yoga travel and comfort pants because they are so remarkably comfortable to wear. And that's what it looks like. It's, um, I just used a slightly contrasting color of thread. And you can see that now I'm never going to be unsure of where the back of my pants are. So it's just a fun little tip. And um, for this and other techniques, Using SureFit Designs, please make sure you watch more of our videos. They're free and complimentary, and you'll find them in the SureFit Designs websites. There's surefitdesigns.com or the SureFit Designs Learning Center. Actually, in the Learning Center, they're all categorized, labeled, and numbered for your easy reference. So I know you're going to have fun sewing with SureFit Designs.